Hello guys, in this video we will see how we can create a snapshot for a share. In the previous video we have seen how we can schedule the snapshot uh, creation. So suppose we are doing an activity which requires the data change. So it's better to take a snapshot before we continue further. So that in case of an issue we can always restore back the data along with the permission. So here we are on our graphical user interface. So we have to go to data protection, then snapshot IQ. Just click on that. Then here we can see snapshots. Click on snapshots. Then click on capture a new snapshot. So first we have to give a the snapshot name here by default uh, this is the snapshot name so which consists of date and time then we have to select the path that we want uh, to take snapshot in this case we will select test folder so next one is create an alias you can always give uh, a familiar name on this field so that later point of time you can identify it very easily another option is that that we can create an alias here so i will give the name here like uh, test uh, underscore snapshot the next one is snapshot expiration this will decide when to delete the snapshot two options are there first one is never expires that means until you are going to manually delete it it will be there forever next one is snapshot expires on so here we have to give a particular date when we want the snapshot to be deleted so here i will just give the current date and then click on capture so our snapshot has been captured and below we can see that the snapshot that we have created with the path slash ifs slash test so in order to see the details click on view details we can see the details of that snapshot if we want to edit the snapshot name then we have to click edit here and uh, if we want to increase the snapshot expiration then we have to click on edit here and if we want to delete it then uh, we have to click here and then click on delete and then the snapshot will be deleted so that's all what i wanted to discuss uh, in this video if you have any questions so please comment and again thank you for watching